Hey there, hope it's going well. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can install the TikTok Pixel into any website. So in the last video, I showed you how to connect the TikTok Pixel to a Shopify store using the Shopify third-party app that integrates well with TikTok. Now in today's video, we're gonna be using the actual Pixel Tracker code and it's using a bit more of a manual approach. And with this approach, you can take that code and you can install it into pretty much any website. Now, before we dive onto the screen, let me know down in the comments, guys, if you've started using TikTok ads yet and how that is going for you. Also hit subscribe and the bell notification if you wanna be notified of future releases on this channel. Now without further ado, let's dive onto the screen and get started. So here we are on the TikTok ads manager and we're just on the dashboard and there's nothing going on here because this is a completely blank account. Now, now to install the pixel, let's go to assets and then events. And what we wanna do is create a web event. Okay, great, so you can see that we have a pixel set up here. It's actually the one that we created in the last video. If you haven't checked that out yet, feel free to go and check that out. It will show you how to connect it to Shopify very, very easily. Okay, so let's just create a new, okay, so let's just set up a brand new pixel. So let's hit this button here. And we need to give it a name. So let's just go with WordPress pixel, for example. And what you want to do is hit TikTok pixel and then click next. So this time we're going to manually install the pixel code. So previously I've shown you how to do this with the third party app platform of Shopify. Now we're just going to manually do this so we can install this tracking code on any website as we please. So what we want to do is we want to set standard mode, not developer mode. All right, and here we have the pixel tracking code. So what we need to do is we need to copy this and then we need to put this onto our website. So you can either copy the code, you can email the code to your developer if necessary, or you can just download the pixel code if you need to send it via email or, or you know, just have it to hand. Okay, so what it's asking us to do is to paste this in the, between the header tags of your website. Now, if we're doing this with WordPress, it's quite straightforward. All we need to do is go to plugins, and then we need to install a plugin that will allow us to add code to the header and footer. Okay, so from here, what we wanna do is click add new, and then we wanna search for header, uh, headers and footers. Great, so any one of these will probably be fine. Anything that allows us to add code to the header and the footer tags of the website. So we've got WP code. All right, so I'm just gonna install this one. All right, and then let's just find it in here. It's probably in, let's just move that. Settings, WP headers and footers. Great. So scripts and headers, scripts and body, scripts and footer. So you can see here, this is gonna put code in between the heading tags and looking at our events manager, that's exactly what we need to do. So we're just gonna paste the tracking code in here. And once we are done, click save changes. Okay, great. So that is that done. Now, now we need to see whether this is working, and if you haven't done so already, you're gonna to need to install the, pickpot, the sorry, the TikTok Pixel Helper. And if we just come here and refresh. Uh, great, you can see that the TikTok Pixel Helper has found, um, the Pixel ID is invalid. Cool, so that is that. So that's installed, let's click next. Okay, so now it's asking us to create events. Okay, so there's two ways that we can do this. We can have click events or web events, or we can use URLs. So if we enter URL keywords, then you have a list of options here of what events you want to track. So depending on what your goal is, so if for example, you're an e-commerce store and you're hosting on WordPress and using WooCommerce, you might have some options here to you know, add to cart or add to wish list, click button, complete payment, um, is there a page view, view content? So that would hopefully track on every page. And um, so let's say that we wanted to have add to cart. Then our URL typically would be your domain name and probably something like cart. So we just put cart in here because this is saying that we want the URL to contain cart. All right, now if we wanted to add another one, we could, so perhaps our URL is success for example depending on what your store is so you'd have to go through your payment process and look up at the top of what your url is and then you would put the keywords in here to match the events that you want to create like it is really straightforward all right so once we've done here we can complete setup 
All right, so that's our pixel set up. And if we come back to here now and refresh, all right, you can see that we now have a page view event, okay? And as long as you've set up your events correctly to match your website and your website's URLs, now this isn't gonna work for me because I've just run you through this super quick on how to install the pixel and create some events. Uh, that, that won't work for me, but that should work for you. Okay, so that's WordPress. Now to install this on the likes of ClickFunnels, which is another popular uh, website system if you're running funnels. Uh, it's really, again, quite straightforward. Now, once you've got your pixel code and you've copied it to your clipboard, you'd head to ClickFunnels and you wanna go to Settings. Okay, now from here, you'll see Head Tracking Code. So this is gonna allow us to add the code that we need to into our header section. So you can already see here that we've got the pixel code and you can actually already see that I have a, a TikTok code as well. So we've got Facebook and TikTok. So what you would do is you would just, if I just, for example, delete that, you would just paste your code in here like so. And if you want, you can add the comment box here. You know, paste that there and just put something like TikTok. And then you scroll down to the bottom and you would just save and update settings. And again, you just visit your website, you'd load the page and you would just check your pixel helper to see whether the pixel is being tracked and the events are being fired. So there you go, that's step by step how you can install the TikTok Pixel into your WordPress or WooCommerce and even ClickFunnels. If you've got any questions for me, please do let me know down in the comments. I'd love to answer any questions that you do have. Remember to hit subscribe if you haven't done so already and give it a thumbs up if you found this content valuable. I really, really appreciate that. And it helps YouTube algorithm and other people find this content as well. Now there's other videos on the channel, there's videos popping up on the screen now, which again, you will find very, very useful if you haven't seen them already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.